Welcome to this video about standard form, uh, or some people use the, the term scientific notation, which um, is a way for us to understand very large or very small numbers, yeah? because we're going to rewrite those very large or small numbers in terms of power of 10. Yeah? And just very, very briefly, I'd like to say um, the following. Uh, you should realize that, for instance, the number 100, which of course is not super big, but that is the same as 1 times 10 to the power 2. And that is actually already the standard form. I'm going to show you in a minute um, exactly why or how. But 1,000 is 1 times 10 to the power 3. Okay, what about 200? That would be 2 times 10 to the power 2, eh? because 10 to the power 2 is 100, 10 times 10, times 2 is going to give me my 200. But we only use the standard form really for very large or very small numbers. Eh? For instance, let's say I have uh, this number, 7, 5, and then a few of those zeros. And just by looking at that number, I just get dizzy, yeah? because what does it say, how much is that? Let's say that is my bank account, I wish. But how much money is on my bank account? It's just, there are too many zeros. I cannot make any sense out of it. And even if I would add a zero, yeah, it still looks the same to me, this number. But of course, that influences the amount of money in my bank account. Eh? But it's just, there are too many zeros. This is very difficult for me to understand. Yeah, And the standard form is going to help us yeah, to understand this very large number. Because I'm going to rewrite it in terms of powers of 10. And how do you do that? Well, that equals, and you always write down the first number, which is not a zero. Yeah, But in this case, it is a seven. Okay, point. Always one number, one integer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. And in this case, it is a seven. So not 12 or 75, no, seven. Not zero, no, seven in this case. Seven point. And then I write down the rest of the numbers, which are not zero. In this case, it's only a five, seven point five. And then I'm going to rewrite it in terms of powers, uh, uh, to the power of 10, because this is times how much? I'm just simply going to count now how many places the decimal place moved. So where is the decimal place in this big number? Well, that is over there. And in my standard form, it is between the seven and the five. So how many places did it move? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It moved 10 places. So 7.5 times 10 to the power 10. 7.5 times 10 to the power 10 is the same as 75000000000, okay? And now it just looks a little bit easier to interpret, okay? Same thing for a very small number, for instance, 0 0.00000000307, okay? Let's say that is the diameter of some sort of uh, bacteria or virus or whatever, I don't know, uh, centimeters, yeah. Uh, I've no idea if that is actually true, but uh, because I'm not a scientist. But we have to rewrite that in standard form because this is just too difficult for us to understand. So what do I do? Where is my first number? There is a three. So I write a three point and then I let it follow by the rest of the numbers. I have a seven there, so zero, seven, okay? times 10 to the power, and I'm gonna count how many places the decimal place moved, okay? It used to be here, and now it is there, you see that? So how many places did it move? It moved a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, 10 again, that's just a coincidence. So to the power 10, yeah, but hang on a minute, it is a very small number, so it's not to the power 10, it's to the power minus 10, yeah? Where a very small number in standard form is to the power negative, yeah? And a very large number is to the power of positive, okay? Hopefully that was useful. I have a new video uh, after this one with some example questions. I'll see you there.